Uh, we've been talking Thanks, a lot Pat. about we've been talking a lot about the Chips Act this morning and where things stand. It, it, it sounds like there could be a separate standalone vote just on this part of the bill, not wrapping up other things. Is that your understanding of things as well? Yeah, you know, I think there are three pathways right now. You know, one is House just votes on the bill that the Senate already passed. You know, second is they create what they call the skinny version of the Competitiveness Act. Or third is they just pull the two pieces out that are related to chips and just vote on those. And uh, clearly those second and third options have been getting a lot more momentum in the last uh, couple of days. And uh, you know, we're starting to see uh, you know, both the uh, House and the Senate leadership lining up behind one of those uh, two paths. But my message to uh, our congressional leaders is, hey, if I'm not done with the job, I don't get to go home. Neither should you. Do not go home for August recess until you have passed the CHIPS Act, because I and others in the industry will make investment decisions. And do you want those investments in the U.S.? Or are we simply not competitive in this? to do them here, and we need to go to Europe or Asia for those. Get the job done. Do not go home for August recess without getting these bills passed. Gina Raimondo, the Secretary of Commerce, has said recently that if it doesn't get done before this August recess, she doesn't think it's likely to get done at all. Is that your feeling on it, too, why you think it's so important that it be voted on before they leave? <laughs> well, you know, I do think that what, what, what happens now is we will lose momentum. You know, my Ohio plant. Right? I want to do groundbreaking. I want to get those shovels in the ground. But I have a great alternative in uh, Germany. And they've moved extraordinarily. I mean, the complex 27-member European nation has you know, accomplished what we're trying to get done in less than half the time. And they're ready to put the incentives in place right now for us to get underway. You know, others that uh, I've spoken to of my CEO peers, they're going to make these decisions. You know, and now Senate... You know, passes over a year ago, Becky. You know, I, I, I came into this job with the expectation, the promise that we were getting this done. And now we have to make these investments and we're making those decisions now. And again, the U.S. has been declining for 30 years in its manufacturing of this industry. If we're going to reverse it, we need to act now. And if not, the dominoes will keep falling. Now, I am slightly more optimistic that, you know, as some have said, you know, we make the right decisions when we've exhausted every other opportunity in the House, but the time is done. And if we want to change the shape of this industry for the rest of this decade, do not go home for August recess. Get this finished, because passing it next year, we're going to have made a bunch of decisions on, on fabrication and manufacturing investments that are not good for the United States. And, you know, think about the situation we're in, Becky. A large portion of inflation, the shortage in chips, you know, the economic impact of these jobs that we want to create, you know, and how that just creates this silicon heartland, as we've described it with our Ohio facility and our national defense and intelligence community have woken up and realized, man, you know, there's 100 chips in every uh, javelin missile. You know, there's thousands of chips in every you know, vehicle that we're putting out there. Do we want to be the ones building the chips for our own national defense? Of course we do. You know, so economy, the impact on inflation, impact on jobs and national security, this is just so critical for our nation. It's implausible that our Congress wouldn't get this done. This is the most important thing for them to finish before August recess.